All right, some breaking news for you just into MSNBC. We were talking about this earlier in the hour, the possibility of UBS purchasing Credit Suisse. We can now confirm this as we've been watching a press conference coming out of Switzerland. This from the Central Bank of Switzerland. Again, what we are hearing according to reporting and from that press conference, UBS is to buy. You're watching some of the live video coming in right now to buy uh, rival Credit Suisse and the Swiss regulators will play a key part in this deal. What we're also hearing here is that the central bank will provide all necessary liquidity to both parties, both banks, as is needed in the process of this purchase. And I'm going to quote just a little bit, and then we get right over uh, to get more perspective on this. Uh, with the takeover of Credit Suisse by UBS, a solution has been found to secure financial stability and protect the Swiss economy in this exceptional situation. And that's what we're hearing right now. OK, let's get more now on what we're seeing right now uh, in terms of that live press conference. What are we seeing? This is exactly what we were talking about just moments ago. Is this going to provide comfort to the markets? That was the goal here, Richard, calm the markets. Um, obviously, late last week, there were runs on banks. And so here we have the Swiss central bank moving to provide liquidity, which is extremely important, and to merge these two banks so that when traders, investors, depositors wake up on Monday, they can feel confident that we are no longer in a bank run situation where Credit Suisse is involved. So, so I forgot to introduce you. We're right into the breaking <laughs> news here. Gretchen Morganson was sitting by uh, again following this breaking news. We expected to get this news just in moments and we just did, Gretchen. So uh, why right now? It is roughly, so it's plus six hours, I believe. It's in the evening. Why are they doing it at this moment? These things always happen on the weekends, Richard, because you just don't want to have markets um, gyrating around when these decisions are being made. You want to be able to present to investors to depositors. This is a done deal. We are backstopping it. We are here to tell you and please be calm. That's really the message here. And these often happen on weekends. Now, in the U.S., all these mid-sized banks, uh, many of them come together and said, hey, you've got to back us up for two years. What does that back us up for two years mean? Obviously, they're thinking about all the customers, that, are, as I was talking about earlier, you, like you and me. What they want is a two-year guarantee of all depositors. And this is highly unusual, Richard. As you know, in the last financial crisis, there were no depositors who were guaranteed. Mm. Banks did fail. Now, there are two big-to-fail banks, which don't fail, J.P. Morgan and Credit, and Credit Suisse until now. But So here we have a situation where banks that are not considered too big to fail, they want a guarantee for their depositors. And that is what was provided to Silicon Valley Bank and to Signature Bank's depositors. So they're saying, hey, you gave it to those right. two. Now you should give it to us. You know, but some folks are going to say, and again, watching live pictures coming out of Bern, Switzerland, here from the authorities, Swiss authorities, the central bank, saying that they are backing up the purchase of Credit Suisse by UBS, offering all liquidity. And I guess, Gretchen, in, in a sentence, that's just saying we're going to give you all the money you need for now. Of course, with certain limitations. Certain limitations. I think the number is 100 billion Swiss francs at the moment. But, you know, this is just a way to say they're signaling that they're behind this. They are going to be monitoring it closely and that they're standing um, standing firm. Now, no, one of the things I was talking about the mid-sized banks a second ago, uh, if they do get this backing for two years, uh, remember the big three bailout? And one of the requirements from the government was, well, we're going to give you this, but we're also going to get into your boards. We're also going to get into your executive leadership and be part of getting better. Should that also be part of this deal? You know, there should always be strings attached when the government steps in to save a private institution, okay? Yeah. So, yes, we need to have strings attached. We need to have, whether it's a clawback of executive compensation, whether it is requirements that the bank should not be allowed to raise their dividends to pay to investors or buy back their stock, which is expensive. Yeah. They should use their money to shore up their 
financial situation. We do need to have the banks agree to some sorts of limits or, you know, rules of the road. Otherwise, everybody's just going to say, I can do whatever I want, fail, and I'll get bailed out. Well, yeah, and that, we're going to continue the situation theoretically that we're in right now, right? Correct. And so Correct. they need some austerity measures along the way. Well, right? you yeah. need to pay the price. Pay Let's the price. Say. Okay.